Hi all, welcome back. So today we are going to see different measure of shape or distribution of our data that is about skewness or kurtosis. So before that, let's understand the term distribution. So it tells you uh, what are all possible values you have for a given variable in your data set and how often they occur, the frequency. And these two together uh, gives you the shape of the distribution. By shape of the distribution, I mean, you know, whether it's uh, symmetric, uniform, bimodal with two peaks, or they are skewed left or skewed right. So like that, we have different shapes of distribution. So now the skewness, uh, so in simple terms, it measures the lack of symmetry in your data distribution. So how asymmetric your data distribution is. So less symmetric the data, more will be the skewness. So if you remember the normal distribution, is completely symmetric. So there the skewness is zero. And for any kind of symmetrical data, uh, the skewness will be more or less close to zero. So now we know zero skewness, then we have positive skewness and negative skewness. So let's understand. So now the positive skewness, uh, here most of the value seems to be clustered around left side of the distribution. You can see in the graph and uh, mean and median uh, are greater than the mode on the x-axis you can see. And contrary to this, in the negative skewness, we have uh, most of the values are clustered around right side of the distribution. And mean and median are less than the uh, mode, the most frequent value of the distribution. So going forward. So what value or range of the skewness is considered to be uh, significant or notable? So here we have general rule of thumb. So if skewness is less than uh, minus 1 or greater than 1, we say it's highly skewed distribution. And if uh, it's in between minus 1 and minus 0.5 or between 0.5 and 1, we say it's moderately skewed. And if it's uh, in between minus 0.5 to 0.5, we say it's approximately symmetric, you know, more or, more or less close to normal distribution. So now the kurtosis, so what does it tell us? So it measures whether the data distribution is heavy tailed or light tailed. So when, when I say, you know, higher kurtosis, so it means heavier the tail of a data distribution is, or you can say more the outliers we have there. So now let's understand when we say, you know, a zero kurtosis or positive or negative kurtosis. So uh, zero kurtosis is also known as mesokurtic and it looks similar to the normal distribution curve, the bell-shaped curve. And you can say that probability of having outliers or extreme values is more or less close to zero. Then we have positive kurtosis, uh, also known as leptokurtic, and we see longer distribution here. You can see the red uh, dotted line. It shows a sharper peak and heavier tails at both ends. So heavier tails uh, means more outliers. Then we have negative kurtosis, also known as platykurtic, and it shows a shorter distribution. Again, uh, see the red dotted line. It's showing flatter peak and thinner tails. So thinner tails means less outliers. So now if I ask you what value of kurtosis is considered to be, you know, significant or notable, then uh, keeping this in mind that higher kurtosis, you know, more outliers in data, you know, we already uh, saw the answers uh, in previous slide. So you see that for mesokurtic, we have zero kurtosis, for lepto positive kurtosis, kurtosis greater than three, and for platykurtic, we have less than three. So yes. So now a very important point, uh, when is kurtosis useful? Only when it's used in conjunction with standard deviation. Because it's possible that a variable, you know, it's showing high kurtosis, but the overall standard deviation is quite low. And vice versa, it's showing low kurtosis, uh, but the standard deviation is high, which is bad. So keep this in mind. And uh, so now we have finally a question. I leave this up to you. So does sample size have an impact? impact on skewness or kurtosis so you can think around so uh, yeah that's all in this session uh, thank you so much for your time and see you soon until then take care enjoy bye bye